And welcome back, everyone, to another province of Erie. This episode is episode 54, Roll the Opening. If you can't tell that um, today's episode's a little bit different, um, it, it is because somehow I have both lost my video and my audio for this segment, even though it was the tail end of a session. So I'm going to be uh, pretty much doing this podcast style. Lovely. The party made it back to their inn for the first time in two months due to um, Feywild shenanigans. You can see it in episodes uh 43 through 46. The crew enters with their newcomer, Zeg, uh, one, uh, played by Ramon, once was uh, our paladin in the party. It changed. Um, you've hopefully seen the last episode. He notes that the inn seems rather empty. Shambles actually goes and finds the innkeeper keeper, uh, dead behind the desk, almost dried up as if mummified. Rail sends his jackalope, his little familiar buddy, uh, actually up the stairs to go investigate ahead of them while everyone else stays downstairs. Jack Sum investigates the body. The jackalope actually creeps up the steps and eventually sneaks up under the door to what would have been uh, Rails' room, finding someone laying on the floor, also some sort of odd writing on the mirror. No. This is when Rails, being able to see through his com his companion's eyes, happens to notice that his jackalope gets attacked by a swarm of mosquitoes. This clearly provokes Rails to run recklessly up the stairs. Shambles, as always, runs recklessly chasing Rails, leaving both Jacksum, the party rogue, and Zig, the newcomer, at the first floor of the uh, inn with a corpse. <laughs> Jackson, being a rogue, is left. He actually leaves the inn to actually go tell like a town guard to make it look a little less suspicious that he may have murdered someone, perhaps. Inn is going to report this so, you know, they're not caught off guard looking like he's just picking the pockets of this uh, innkeeper. So Rails goes bursting into his room uh, chasing after his familiar, to open the door to see a swarm of mosquitoes in a vaguely female shape. There's also writing on the mirror, written in purple lipstick, saying, Are you happy now with me, Mommy? Putting it together that this swarm of mosquitoes is what attacked his familiar enrages Rails, and he actually casts Shatter somewhat outside, like on the farther wall outside of the room to make sure it doesn't affect anyone at the, the bottom floor, and only some of an adjacent room that they had determined was empty uh, prior to all this. Eventually, Shambles makes it to about the doorway of uh, the room, which actually, funnily enough, actually blocks Zig from being able to enter because he eventually decides to go upstairs to see what uh, essentially exploded in the floors above them. Zig not being able to enter the room because the half-orc druid is currently blocking the, the hallway, Zeg decides to actually check in on the other guests of the inn, which he actually does find a few that seem to have barricaded themselves actually in their room and were too scared to actually leave after they noticed things were going awry. Hopefully witnesses to, to testify that these people weren't, you know, the murderers. That That's probably where Jackson was thinking, but... I'll get to him when he gets here. And speak of the devil himself. Jackson and the town guard actually shows up. So Jackson actually shows the guard, the innkeeper, and when this is happening, the explosion rings out upstairs, leading uh, both of them up the steps to uh, investigate what's going on further. That's when, you know, the guard is noticing that the doorway is being blocked by both Zeg and Shambles at the moment. 
Zag actually tells the innkeeper about the swarm of mosquitoes. The town guard notes there's this wasp problem that's been going on that sounds suspiciously like this. This was actually mentioned by Sonny uh, previously. This is when Shambles actually gets a few attacks on the swarm. This is when the swarm actually emits an odd buzzing sound disrupting the fabric of magic itself cast within in a 10-foot area of the uh, sound effect. In other words, rails can no longer uh, cast spells with verbal components involved. Rails just uses his uh, magic whip that he, he actually got from some kobolds earlier to attack instead. There was a role involved to, to save from it. But. Zeg and Jackson stood in the doorway, uh, not being able to pass due to, you know, druid in the way. Jackson was happy not to have to step into the fight, being a little bit more squishier than the rest. But Zeg, you know, being a new character brought to the game, uh, decided that he wanted to get a little action, so he actually steps into the adjacent room that was stated to have been damaged earlier. Noticing that there's actually holes in the wall, he decides to actually uh, go ahead and fire like a Mega Buster shot since he's an artificer. And uh, it was essentially just the Firebolt spell. And he actually gets the kill on the uh, swarm, dissipating the swarm of uh, mosquitoes, uh, the humanoid shape devolving into this burning swarm and fading away. Uh, Rails Jackalope was actually so injured it essentially became this blob. And uh, it eventually decided to pull itself back together. I'm not even going to bother to explain this. If you know, you know where you can go watch the rest of the show. Rails actually felt like all of this was an attack on himself, and he left, which was a good excuse because his player had to go to work, so... The town guards would have been suspicious of the party, but this guard was actually involved with the Dragon Turtle incident, in which both Rails and Shambles eventually was known to actually be heroes to have put the Dragon Turtle back to sleep. Um, you can actually see the episode uh, Dragon Deterrent, which was episode uh, 32, if you, if you wish. So the town guard decided to actually clean up the scene, uh, investigate a little bit more, but mainly to be able to clean up the scene, make sure that the building was structurally sound, escort the other guests, take care of the bodies and whatnot which actually freed up the party, but now the party lacking an inn, which was their central base of operations, they decided that they didn't want to stay in Vernon Guard anymore and started to make their own notes about where they wanted to leave for. But uh, this actually created this whole, how do we leave? Because uh, uh, they're going to go out into the desert. It's a whole planning thing that they already talked about before. They were going to gather supplies. They eventually go to... Gourmand to talk to him about getting one of his wagons because they did that whole Feywild adventure previously. Um, uh, also, if you remember, Zeg said he actually rode a motorcycle or an iron horse that they actually, with uh, Rails actually being a transmutation wizard, uh, they, they were actually able to like fix and modify. Also, Shambles being able to do. Um, what was it? Uh, restoration? Not restoration. Um, there, there was some sort of repair spell that's probably very simple that I forgot. It's probably restoration. But um, uh, they actually got that working together. They got a wagon. Uh, Shambles actually pulls off one of the patches of his uh, was a coat robe of useful things, which was actually a horse to help carry. They get food for the wagon, uh, some barrel supplies as well. And uh, Shambles, in this process, uh, actually gets his Pot of Awakening, which is how he made a cactus that previously died. Remember that he actually has plant growth, so he doesn't have to wait the like two-week process of growing the plant. He actually regrows his uh, plant, and it becomes Sarge, which was uh, a red versus blue reference. Uh, and... Uh, uh, becomes his new uh, Cactus Companion, which I wish I had the original audio for, because it actually has the party confirming their party name as 
rent a rogue, which was something that Jackson was was pulling. So they actually confirmed that that is their party name, which was it was it was pretty priceless. So the party actually starts leaving, and this is where, um, unfortunately, and if you can see the next episode, it is spoken of a little bit more in length, that this is the last episode that the player for Shambles could actually make it to uh, to an episode. So uh, he actually decides to hold back and actually go try to find his father figure, who he just met, um, and actually head south. Um, which actually gets acted out a little bit in uh, the next part. But, um, so the party actually starts leaving. And they're going to leave to go to uh, the Coral Grove, which uh, takes a little uh, overland. But they were all actually planning for the Druid to be able to do uh, Conjure Water, which creates a little problem that we'll have to actually solve next time on uh, Province of Erie. I know it was way shorter than what an actual episode was, and I probably did not put together enough MSN Paint uh, images to uh, put this together, so it was kind of a little bit of a podcast. But um, uh, if you like this format, please note it, because it is different than everything else, but this is going up in the playlist to, to fill a hole, and it has taken me two weeks, no, two, like over two months, to actually do this. And it's pretty shameful. But um, I have read my notes, and I'm done. And we'll get this Audacity uh, thing together, and I'll slap it together in some video. And I will hopefully be able to put this mental block behind me created from losing the first video and audio for a series in, like, since uh, 2007, 2019? 2017, something like that. And <laughs> this... Uh, campaign's been going on for but um thank you for watching hopefully we'll go back to our normal recordings i know for a fact that i have all of the previous session uh the newest session done about to film some more but uh thank you for watching see you later